Samsung's just shown off the Note 7 and it certainly looks good, but is it really worth it? The Note 7 as a whole is an externally improved version of the S7 Edge, and I'll get to why I use the word externally in a second. The Note 7 features a slightly larger display at 5.7 inches compared to the S7 Edge which is only at 5.5 inches. They're both at 2560 by 1440 which is actually a really nice resolution that most phones at this level are at. The larger size on the Note 7 does mean that it'll have a slightly lower pixels per inch count but at this level it won't matter. The larger display is obviously a nice thing to have for daily use and movies and things like that, but it's not really for everyone. That will be for you to judge, obviously it's going to take up a little bit more space in pockets and things like that, but it's still fairly small, you can see a picture comparison on the screen right now. The Note 7 does have Gorilla Glass 5 though, and that's a really good improvement over version 4 that the S7 Edge is on. You'll get better damage protection, which is always great to have. One really cool thing that the Note 7 has which the S7 Edge doesn't, is the iris scanner. So this will function as another way to unlock your phone, where you'll be aligning it so the scanner meets your eyes. It still comes with fingerprint scanning, which both phones have, but there's some question about whether it's a big deal because you'd have to tilt the phone and the phone takes some time to align and things like that, so it can be annoying. Another new feature on the Note 7 is the stylus, and you can use this for things like taking notes, translating words, and other daily use types of things. This also comes with a pretty neat always on display, and that'll, you know, allow you to take notes for things like groceries, um, and it's just really nice to have, but it will definitely drain your battery. Let's talk about that. One downgrade on the Note 7 is that it's got a worse battery life for two reasons. The display is larger, so there's that, but it's also got a smaller battery at 3500 mAh compared to the S7 Edge at 3600. That's because of the stylus taking up a fair bit of space. Speaking about space, the Note 7 ships in 64GB, which is obviously larger than the S7 Edge at 32. Both have space for SD cards, but it's nice to have that extra inbuilt storage because not everyone has an SD card. As for the rest of the specs though, they're all exactly the same. That means it'll be the exact same for the camera, photo, video, games, everything. The performance is all the same. That's not so bad though, considering the specs on the S7 Edge were really good anyway, there's no use to really improve them, but it still would have been nice to see it, especially considering the price increase on the Note 7. And lastly, price. The Note 7 isn't priced very cheap, it's, uh, it's a little bit more expensive than the S7 Edge and official numbers show that the price difference isn't huge, but you're probably not going to buy it directly off their website, you're more likely to buy it from a phone provider or Amazon or eBay or something like that, and uh, that's where you can find the S7 Edge significantly cheaper than the Note 7. Um, at the end of the day, you're essentially getting a bigger S7 Edge with a few cool but mostly useless features. That leads me to say that it's not worth it, because the S8 Edge will be out soon and it'll have more new things, probably even an iris scanner as well if I'm honest. If the Note 7 released at the same time as the S7 Edge, it'd be an easy choice if pricing doesn't matter to you, but if you ask me, I'd say it's not worth picking up the Note 7. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video, if you've enjoyed it, please do hit that like button, subscribe when you're here, and I'm out. Peace. The Blackberry Prism. It's a different kind of smartphone. It's got everything you'd find in an Android, but it's still a Blackberry. That means it's got a physical key. That means it's extremely secure. And that means...